Hello, my name is Veer Animus of VA Games, and today I'm playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You guys remember all the fun we had together frolicking through the winter wonderland of the Ice Cap Zone? Yeah? Well, forget it. It's gone now, and in its place is this abomination, the Launch Base Zone. Evidence that just maybe the developers at Sega didn't get all the hugs they wanted when they were kids. Or maybe they just didn't get that special toy under the Christmas tree that one year. Either way, this level is going to abuse the unprepared like a drunken stepfather. If you don't get intimately familiar with this level, and I mean first name basis keeping some of your stuff at their place, needing their parents familiar with this stage, you're going to get smacked hard. That's because the, say, uh, the sadists at the Sonic team thought it would be a good idea to put traps and enemies in the most sinisterly lo uh, inconvenient locations throughout the entire level. But there, there is a reason for this. It's not completely unjustified. If you are, if you happen to be playing Sonic 3 without the Sonic and Knuckles uh, cartridge, the expansion pack, then this is it for you. This is the end of your adventure. The game, the game ends here. Only with, uh, only with Sonic and Knuckles can you go on to explore the final eight zones of the game. And take my word for it, it's absolutely worth it. But since this is technically still a final stage, it has to have the difficulty of one. So this is what we end up with. If you haven't guessed it by now, I am no fan of this stage, and the only re the only one that I dislike more than this one is the uh, th is the Sandopolis zone. But don't let my discontentment ruin your relationship with the level. Try it out for yourself. If you have if you haven't already, that is a, a lot of people played this game already. Uh, but if you haven't, try it out. Let me know what you think. Maybe maybe I'm alone in this, but I believe some Sega jockey forgot to take his medication the day he made this stage. Anyway, now that I got that off my chest, and unfortunately lost my fire shield, uh, let's get back to the gameplay. Coming up on the end of the level here, and uh, I guess it was kind of a good thing that I lost my fire shield. I, I do like the, I like having the, the magnet shield for this particular boss fight. Um, I think it's called the Twin Hammer or something like that. It's, it's a, a weird, almost Orbanaut looking boss um, that swings a spiked mace around. It's a bit of a pain. It's not. It's not hard. It's just a bit annoying because uh, you do have to wait for it to descend far enough that you can reach it, and the magnet. That's where the magnet shield comes in. With the magnet shield, you don't really have to. And uh, there's Robotnik, and and he's actually carrying the uh, the case canister, whatever, um, the crate that the boss is in. Of course, before we fight the boss, we have to encounter Knuckles, and he has to. Uh, he has to annoy us. I still, I really, I'll never understand why Sonic just doesn't yoke him up by the, you know, by the scruff of his neck and, and, uh, give him the good what for. But, I digress. He's not gonna do it. And, uh, he's gonna get away with it for now. Anyway, we are, uh, coming up on the mini-boss here, and he's, he's real easy. You just gotta wait for him to descend, and the Magnus Shield helps a little bit with this. Um, after you hit him a few times, he's actually going to, uh, lose one of his, one of his maces, and uh, he gets re he's a sitting duck after that, so once you kill him, we, uh, we'll head over to Act 2, and uh, it's much less fun than Act 1. At this point, the developers at Sega are asking themselves a uh, very good question. The level's already annoying, but what could we do to make it worse? Then they stick their big middle fingers out in the sky and uh, throw a bunch of water into this stage. Now, Act 2 is... Uh, a little bit more difficult than the first act. A little bit more confusing because it's a lot more. It's much more wide open than than uh, Act One, um, and the underwater segments make it all that much more frustrating. And it's very easy to. Uh, it's actually easy to kind of jump down into pads that you've already taken and go backwards and uh, set yourself back pretty far. So, you gotta really pay attention to where you're going in this one and uh, make sure that you're going the right way. Now, even though there is water in this stage, there aren't really any truly significant risks um, of drowning. There, there are a few spots where you can drown if you know you kind of miss your jump a little bit. But if you're if you time your jumps carefully, move slowly, and control control your movements, you should have no problems at all getting through these underwater segments. Um, again, I guess you, just like in the first act, there are some. Frustrating, frustratingly positioned enemies and traps that will uh, will definitely frustrate you. And just like you saw there, 
when you when you're heading toward those spikes, don't jump. Um, the spring will will propel you for, uh, to safety. Um, that that usually scares a lot of people, and they try to jump, and and they'll probably hurt themselves jumping. So just make sure you, you let it take its own course. That was actually one of the uh, one of the nicer things they did. They they set you up for failure, but but then they uh, say, ah, we're just kidding. Um, yeah. So this is not a uh, a very a very interesting stage for me. Um, I'm very glad that it's it's nearly over. The boss is. Um, I actually like the boss a little bit in this stage, and with Sonic alone, it's it's you you get the the real the real feel of of what they wanted you to do when you fight him. Um, with Sonic and Tails, as as you're gonna see as you're gonna see me do, I kind of I don't want to say glitch it, but you can you have a much easier time fighting him with Sonic and Tails, and uh, an even easier time fighting him with uh, Super Hypersonic, obviously. Um, one of the things that you you should note about the boss is that with with a uh, a magnet shield, or even I think you can even pull it off with a fire shield, you can actually jump up onto the boss's platform, and uh, that's pretty interesting because it allows you to attack the boss when he's not supposed to be attacked. I guess you could say. And uh, you'll take a look at that here. I do uh, sacrifice my fire shield real early in the fight, but uh, doesn't doesn't matter. Don't really need it. Um, Tails is actually really useful here, as you can see. You jump up there, and that platform Tails gets right up on top of it, and you can kind of glitch yourself up there. And Robotnik's just cake after that. So now we steal his. Uh, I think that's called the Egomatic. And that music means only one thing. Look at that. I'm sure the Buddhists have a saying about karma or something. And the ship takes off, and that's it for Knuckles for now. And uh, you're probably wondering what the ship is. Um, if you paid attention to some of the background images, it's uh, it's the Death Egg, and it, it's being launched into space right now. You know the Star Wars knockoff. And this is where this is Sonic's opportunity to. Um, to prevent its launch. So this is the uh, it's the intermediary boss fight here. Um, Sonic 3 alone, this is the second to last boss fight, the second of three boss fights. In Sonic and Knuckles, this is the last one. He's real easy, um, he's re pathetically easy actually. Um, just takes uh, a lot of hits to take him out. Once he's gone, uh, this level's over for Sonic 3 and Knuckles players. So. If you, if you do happen to be playing on, uh, if you do happen to be playing on Sonic 3 by itself, you do have to fight a pretty nasty, nasty final boss. One of the hardest bosses in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, and he's not even in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, he's in Sonic 3. But, uh, anyway, you do have to fight that, and I don't recommend it. It's, it's pretty hard. I'm gonna get a video up someday and, uh, show you guys what it's like. So anyway, that is the end, and I'll see you guys over in Sonic and Knuckles in the Mushroom Hill Zone.